so this is Namakoya and Kuchiko is this is dried Kuchiko and this is Kuchiko is the dried sea the o dried ovaries of the sea cucumber wow eat everything so that's pretty cool and this is how they dry it. Kind of reminds me of the octopi in Greece, how they lay them out. So this store might be the only sea cucumber and certainly dried sea cucumber, sea cucumber ovary store in all of Japan. This is where it's most famous. Kuchiko Pizza. <laughs> and there it is. And the nice woman was giving me a little background on some of the food here. And certainly the sea greatly influences everything. They're famous for sea salt in the northern part of the peninsula. And they're also famous for something called Aosa. This is Aonori. She said it kind of, if you put it on top of Okonomiyaki, Yakisoba, it moves kind of like Katsuabushi. It seems to just move on its own. You don't need to add water to it. And this is a, she said, this is popular, Wajima Asaichi, Wajima Morning Market. She's also telling me that these are two very famous things in Noto Peninsula. This is called Ishiru, and this is Yoshiru. This is inside of some fish, it's the innards, the organs, and they are preserved, they're basically fermented. And this is the fermented uh, organs of squid. And they were eaten before soy sauce became cheaper. So this was a cheaper way to have this umami flavor. Now it is an acquired taste, she was warning me. It's a very cool store. All these specialty stores in Japan are very cool. So she nicely gave me a couple things to try. <laughs> Let's see what we have. So this is the um, Kuchiko, so this is the sea cucumber ovary. Never had it before, had no idea it was even a food, but if you're eating sea cucumber, sea cucumber already, why stop there, I suppose. So the first bite. Actually I like it. It's I would never have expected that texture for ovaries of cucumber, but here we go. It's good, it's very umami, definitely tastes like you just scooped your hand into the sea. So you have to really like seafood and just kind of a riverine flavor to enjoy that littoral flavor. Have a little more. This is not panna cotta. This is panna makotta. So it's a pun. So it's a panna cotta with strawberry ichigo flavor made with sea cucumber. What? What world am I in for? Ooh. Just going to put you down for a second here. Okay, spoon in hand. Let's see how interesting this is. Okay, it's good. I'm trying to look at the ingredients. Ah, here we go. Yep, there's namako is the first ingredient, so sea cucumber is the first ingredient. Nama cream, so whipped cream, so fresh cream rather. And sugar granules, skim milk, and strawberry. And yet, you'd scarcely know that sea cucumber was in it. So, I'm gonna go for another bite. Hmm. Actually, it's pretty good. 
And the last thing to try for now is this Okunoto no Shiwame. So this is in kind of the inner Noto Peninsula salt, kind of, let's say sucking candy. And I'll just try to rip this open. For something that is advertised as a salt candy, it's not so salty, so it's good 